everybody, welcome to today's video. My name is Derek Gerard, and in today's video, I'm going to be telling you a story. The story of... Wait. Whoa, whoa, wait. I'm recording this today. I'm editing it tomorrow, and it's going... Th this video is going to be up on how This is a Halloween special! Oh my god! What, what am I doing? This doesn't look like Halloween to you? No? Okay. We gotta get some big decorations and make this place look- like, One sec. Oh, yes! Halloween, baby! Oh, yes. Okay. Guys. Oh, I dropped the broom, but it's fine. Okay. Guys. We got the decor- Look at this! Oh my god, isn't that so awesome? This is gonna change the entire video. Okay. Um, we can put it right here. Right- Oh, wait. You're It's a- Yeah, I know it's a small pumpkin, but- a small pumpkin can make it dip. Ready? Watch. He did the monster man. <laughs> See? What? A the monster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this is so dumb. Let's just set this right there. And let's start the Halloween special of me telling you guys the story of the first time I ever met John Cena. Yes, in today's video, I'm going to be telling you guys this story and... To be honest, this story is a hundred percent fake, real. What the hell is that? This, this story is this story is actually like really fake, Re real. This is really fake, real. What? Um. <laughs> this is based on a true story, and in today's video, I'm gonna be telling you guys a story of the first time I ever met John Cena. <laughs> Okay, so the date is October 21st, 2003. I woke up this Sunday morning with a mission, okay? Number one, eat breakfast. Number two, have a quick fap. And then number three, take a piss to, you know, flush out the rest of my... I'm stuck. Uh, never mind. And, <laughs> and number four, play my GameCube for hours until my hands felt like I had just, like, got finished finger banging a cactus. Ow. So I was playing for maybe about an hour or two, and right as I was about to kill Master Hand in Smash Bros, my mom just randomly bursts through the door. Derek! Just a little bit of backstory. So at this time in my life, I lived with my mom, my Uncle Joseph, and his stupid piece of shit cat, Wiggly Tiggly. Yeah. My uncle named his cat Wiggly fucking tiggly! I I don't know. I don't know, okay? I don't I don't understand. But okay, let's just get back to the story. So my mom bursts through the door and screams at the top of her lungs. Derek! What in God's fucking shit balls are you doing, you stupid bitch? Um yeah. <laughs> just just to let you guys know, my mom had a really bad swearing problem back then. It was yeah, it was bad. She she once called me a fucking cut sucking shit licker in front of the Santa Claus at the mall. So there's that. I'm just... Mom, what, what? I'm just playing my game. What's the matter? Your uncle, your uncle Joseph. He's he's fucking, he's fucking in the front yard, and he's fucking dead. <sighs> it was Sunday morning. I was playing my GameCube, and completely out of nowhere, my mom walks in and just tells me that, you know, that, that my uncle is dead. <sighs> Maroon 5 really has to change the lyrics of their song from Sunday morning rain is falling on my window to Sunday morning uncles are dying in my front lawn. Like, what the hell? The next few weeks of my life really drastically changed and really, really sucked. I mean, just tons of family reaching out to us, tons of mourning, tons of crying, I mean, tons of my mom just having sex with numerous co-workers to try and cope with her loss. What? And the strangest thing of all was that they could never give us a actual answer as to how my uncle died. The only thing they ever definitively told us was that his neck was broken. And oh, oh, and also that his face was slammed into the ground. And I'm and I'm pretty sure that shit just doesn't happen. You know what I mean? Like no one just 
breaks their own neck and smashes their skull into the concrete. So we finally end up having my uncle's funeral, and we actually end up bringing Wiggly Tiggly along, which was nice, and as well as my uncle's son, a racer head fart sniffer, and it was really sad because, yeah, my uncle was an amazing person. Besides his ability to pick names, um, <laughs> other than that, he was an amazing person. A racer had four. As the weeks went on, we ended up getting tons of attention from uh, family members, neighbors, random people we didn't even know. And one day, we actually ended up getting a letter in the mail from the Make a Wish Foundation. The foundation that gives dying children a chance to live their dream before they pass away wanted to give me a wish. Like, like what did I do? I don't understand. I I mean, my uncle died, but I didn't really like him that much. I'm kidding. I'm, I loved my uncle. I'm just kidding. But, I mean, I was fine. So I thought about making my wish, but I really didn't want to go through with it. I mean, just me thinking about all the other children that deserved it so much more than I do. I, there are kids living with cancer. There are kids, you know, that live in pain every single day and some kids that even only have a few days left to live why did i deserve this wish i i didn't understand it and i didn't want to do it at all until one night my mom she walked into my room and she told me something really nice that really persuaded me to make the wish um derek honey okay i look I know that you're thinking about all those other kids out there that deserve the wish so much more than you do, but you know what? F those kids in the ass! <laughs> Take the wish for yourself, Derek! And so that night I wrote out and sent out my make a wish. Now, being that this was a once in a lifetime opportunity, I really did not want to waste my wish on something stupid. I mean, some kids wish for their dream vacation. Some kids wish to meet the president. Some kids wish for even like their dream shopping spree. But I really wanted to make a wish that was something that I would cherish and remember for the rest of my life, which was to meet John Cena. Okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> okay, okay, look. Not only is John Cena handsome, talented, and a wonderful guy, he was also the man of my dreams. I loved him. And this was my only opportunity I was ever going to get to ask him out on our first date. So I was gonna take it, okay? So a month goes by of me anxiously waiting to meet my one true love and of my mom uh, convincing me to take her along with me uh, she said that she would be my wing woman so yeah that's how sad my life was back then when I thought hmm who is gonna help me get laid uh, mom so it's the day that I am going to meet John mother and I really don't know how to control myself at this point I I was sweating from head to toe. There was fluid leaking from every single hole in my body, and I had a raging boner like the size of like my thumb. I I was eight years old, okay? I, I was eight years old. So we arrive at the hotel where I'm going to meet John Cena, and as we are getting out of the taxi, I feel like the ultimate badass. Like I'm about to meet my idol. I swear, right as I close that taxi door, I could hear the epic music start to play. Woo, Derek! It's gonna get John Cena, yeah! Right in the ass, woohoo! <laughs> <laughs> if, if, if your mom ever says anything like that, you really need to go to child services and just get the f*** out of that house. 
<laughs> so we get into the meeting room at the hotel and one of the guys tells us that John Cena is gonna be here in five minutes and he just leaves us to wait. So yes, we are waiting to meet my idol, John Cena, but at this moment, I really can't help but feel super sad and guilty about my uncle's death. <sighs> Mom, look, I know that this is a once in a lifetime opportunity, but I just feel so bad. I, I don't know if I can go through with it. What, what, what? What in the God's ass f do you mean, Derek? Swearing problem. Just, just keep that going through your mind. Just, Swearing problem. Okay. Well, I only have this opportunity because Uncle Joseph died, and we still don't even know how or why he was killed, Mom. Your uncle got killed so that I could f John Cena. Uh, what? Wait, what? You, 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 so, so that you could f John Cena. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I just don't know if I can go through with it. <sighs> and at that moment, John Cena opened the door and walked in. I, uh, I am standing in the same room as John Cena. <sighs> I, well, I don't need, okay. I opened my mouth to say hello and to finally ask out my one true love on our very first date! <gasps> and right as I'm about to say it, my mom walks in front of me, pulls John Cena into the bathroom, and just leaves me there. What?! Okay, okay, I, I run over to the bathroom, right? I open the door, and they're having sex. My mom is f***ing my Make-A-Wish right in front of me. What? What? Mom, 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 what are you doing? Please, please stop. St oh, God. stop. He's, he's mine. And they just oh. keep oh. f***ing. I literally have to pull John Cena's dick out of my mom's ass to make them stop. What is going on? Mom, Uncle Joseph didn't die so that you could have sex with my man! I- uh, Derek, I killed your uncle! What, what are you- what are you talking about? I f***ing- I f***ing killed your uncle, Derek! What? What? Are you f***ing crazy? Look, I knew that if someone in our family died, being our situation and how poor we were, that you would get a wish. And I also knew that you would wish to meet John Cena. And Derek, I've just always wanted to get fucking shit face pounded by John Cena's throbbing cock. And I hope you can understand that. Oh, and by the way, during this entire deep emotional conversation, John Cena is just standing there with his dick out like this. So you killed Uncle Joe. But how? How did you do? I don't understand. Derek, you f***ing idiot. Just, just put the pieces together. What are you talking about? Completely out of nowhere, his face was slammed into the ground. His neck was broken. You didn't! I RKO'd him out of nowhere. Idiot. <gasps> watch out, watch out, watch out, watch out! Derek, I'm not your mom. <laughs> what? What? I'm Randy Orton. <laughs> okay, the story is over. I am back to myself and I am back to 100% honesty. That is the story of the first time I ever met John Cena. I wrote that story, um, it's not real. <laughs>
I wrote that story from 100% of things that came from my mind. It was based on a true story, I mean, um, I actually did have a GameCube when I was a kid, so it was based on a true story. Um, I really, really hope you guys enjoyed this style of video, me telling you guys a story that I wrote and I think is genuinely funny. Uh, that took me a long time to write, but I really enjoyed the entire process of making this video. So if you guys would like to see more stories like this and you enjoyed this video, be sure to... Kick that like button down below. The pumpkin stayed the <laughs> the pumpkin stayed the entire video. Good job, pumpkin. Wait, what happens if I take off the pumpkin now? I didn't mean to drop the box. <laughs> thank you so much to everybody who has been following me on Instagram and Twitter, and a huge thank you to our random follower of the day, who is at the real Libstar, aka Libby Hopkinson. Congratulations, Libby. You are always favoriting and retweeting all my tweets. It means a lot to me. And that is why you, our, our random follower of the day, if you would like to have a chance to be the random follower of the day, all you gotta do is either follow me on Instagram or Twitter, and you might just be in my next video. If this is the first video you have ever seen from me, you might be a little bit weirded out right now, but hello, my name is Derek Gerard. I post videos on this channel once a week, and if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more, be sure to hit that subscribe button. If you have not yet seen my last video, there will be a link right over there. It is me reacting to my first videos, and just a little preview of that, um, I talk about Justin Bieber's penis a lot. Apparently when I was a kid, I was obsessed with Justin Bieber's penis, so... And I still am. JB, you wanna hit me up with that big dude? If you would like to see more content from me, you can either check out all the videos on this channel, or you can head over to my second channel, More Derek Gerard, and subscribe to that one, because I have been posting a lot on there lately, and I plan to post a lot more. And lastly, I would just like to give a huge thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers and friends out there who have been watching my videos, liking my videos, leaving awesome comments, and all that awesome stuff. I just got out of a huge cold. I am still sick, if you can tell from my voice, but I thought this week I am going to record sick or not. So that's what I did. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. Like, from the bottom of my heart, a huge thank you to you. I hope you have a happy Halloween. And we are almost at 20,000 subscribers. And if you guys want to see that 20,000 subscriber montage, be sure to hit subscribe. I will see you all next week on this channel or right now on More Derek Gerard. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. And I am going to go edit this video. Okay. <laughs> Goodbye, everybody. I love you. Mm -hmm.